how'd the, how'd the surgery go? Went good. Uh, when as expected, Dr. Anderson felt good about it um, about a little over two weeks ago. So, you know, doing good. Not a whole lot right now to, not a whole lot right now to do other than just kind of let it heal and recover and. Same surgery as the first time, or a little more involved in this one. This one's a little more of like the final. This, this was this is one that you can't really come back in the season. So last year when we really wanted to come back as fast as we could. Um, you know, we knew obviously there was a small percentage of a handful of guys have had re you know refractures or whatnot or issues again. Um, you know, so this time did kind of the full the full deal. And typically every guy that I've talked to that has had this second follow up one kind of fixes it for good. Just Greg, what is the timetable for return, like running and sagging? Yeah, you know, it's hard to say right now. Um, you know, you're looking at, you know, a couple months, you know, so it'll, it'll be a while. We have a lot of time. We have the ability, unlike last year, we we're kind of in a race against that clock to make that eight week window. You know, you're, you're probably talking, you know, three, four months on this one, but, you know, that still has plenty of time taking us into, you know, what would be OTAs and whatnot. So. We're, uh, that's not really my main concern right now as much as just getting this thing fixed. Is, are you in a place yet, Greg, to say whether you intend to keep playing? Yeah, I think that's always your intention. I still feel like I can play at a high level. Um, you know, obviously, I said that before the season, too, and it didn't exactly work out. Um, you know, it's been a frustrating two years. There's no question about it. You know, if it, you know, we got to see. There's a lot of other people that have a lot of say in that as me. You know, what they feel my future is here, um, what other opportunities present themselves. It's hard to it's hard to say. You know, I, I still enjoy playing. I still know I can play, um, but that decision is not always up to me. So we'll uh, we'll let the kind of chips fall where they may at the end of the season, and uh, you know speak with the team, kind of see what their plan is, see what the plan of the future of the organization, where we're heading. You know, there's so many factors right now I think that are in play that. It's not a matter as whether I want to or not, as much as whether or not that's in the cards. Greg, going back to kind of the, the decision making process, and obviously you wanted to do as much as you could on the injured foot this year and rehab it and everything. What is that process like as you kind of pick people's brains? And I'm sure you make a lot of phone calls and you talk to the doctors a lot um, when you kind of make these decisions um, for any injury, let alone what you were going through. You know, again, you go through an entire off season. You know, you go through coming back for the last four or five games, dating back to last season. You know, you don't imagine in the first game just kind of catching your foot on a guy when you haven't had any problems, you haven't had any pain. You know, we for sure didn't foresee um, going down the road that we had for another season. But you know, to only miss those first three weeks after the initial game, you know, against Dallas when I heard it, you know, and to come back and play, I don't know how many games I played, eight, nine, whatever it was. Um, you know, obviously my production is not what it was accustomed to. Probably a lot of factors that go into that. And, you know, maybe I wasn't running exactly how I was. I felt pretty good. Um, you know, the week, it's a tough week. I'm not a big mispractice guy. So to have a, you know, a limited practice for the most you know, early part of the week and up until Friday and kind of let it go, it's just, you know, it's no different than what a lot of guys are doing right now, especially this time of year in the league. Um, it had not been what I had been accustomed to, but as we've seen the last two years, that was just kind of the cards that were dealt. Sounds like there's still some uncertainty going forward. Yeah, I think there's a lot of uncertainty every year, especially when you get to my age. Um, obviously, we haven't had a great season as a whole. You know, I don't think that's breaking news. I think there's a lot of disappointed people in this locker room. I think there's a lot of disappointed people in this building. You know, I was a part of that, obviously. Um, so I think there's just you know, it's one of those things where you know you can't get too far ahead. You know, the reality in this league, as you get to my age, is sometimes the decisions made for you. I'm not saying that's the case, or anyone has alluded to that, but those are conversations that we'll have and we'll uh, go from there. But if the decision's up to you, if they want you back, you still have some things to figure out where you and your family are concerned. I think I think this. I think again at my age, I think there's always things to weigh. I think you know there were things that we weighed last year, um, but as I told you guys last year, you know I believed in my heart and I still believe in my heart that you know other than this little bone in my foot, I've shown that I can be pretty good. You know I can still play as I've gotten older. My years have gotten better. You know, I haven't typically had the trajectory of a career like most guys where they start off real hot and then 
they hold on as years go. I've been able to continue to improve and, you know, kind of have had a setback these last two years with the same injury. And, you know, these are in, this is an age injury that's not age related. You know, rookies get them, wide receivers get them, you know, everybody gets them. It's just sometimes a fluke deal. But uh, I don't think it has anything to do with my age, anything to do with how long I've played or anything like that. It's just kind of the way things went. Um, my focus right now is to get my foot better and finally be back to what I've been used to for a long time. And I hadn't felt I haven't felt that way during a football game in a long time. And uh, that sounds good. That, that would be fun again to play like I'm used to playing without having pain and discomfort and treatment and surgeries and rehab and you know, it's exhausting. You Sounds have time like to reflect while a lot of people still in the playing mode. Do you think this needs to be blown up or what do you when you look around the, this locker room and this team? We've had these conversations. I mean, not in the last couple of years, but prior to the Super Bowl year, prior to the seven, eight, and one year. You know, we were three, eight, and one. You know, thinking everybody was going to get fired and we were going to blow this thing up. You know, so we've had this conversation probably two or three times in the last ten years, and. Uh, you know, my answer has always been very consistent. You know, I feel like um, you know this year was a huge disappointment. I don't think anybody in this locker room would, would say otherwise. I don't think any of the coaches would say otherwise. I think that's a pretty consistent narrative that everybody has shared. Um, but to think that we would get better by making rash changes, I think would be is the easy thing. I think that's very emotional. I think that's very every time people struggle, the immediate reaction is some, there's got to be someone better. You know, a guy drops a pass, play the next guy. Quarterback throws a pick, play the backup. I think that's sports. I think sports, everyone always thinks the grass is always greener. But I think we've shown around here our stability has allowed us to be, you know, relatively consistent. You know, we're, we're talking a team that's one year removed from 11 win season. So this has not been a prolonged period of failure. I think it's been one year of failure, and I think that's fair. Where do you think things went wrong this year? It's a good question. If I had that answer, we wouldn't be six and nine. But I tell you guys, every, every, you know, I told you after the Super Bowl year, I told you after this year, every training camp when we meet at that lawn in Wofford, there's no telling how a season goes. You can be talented, you can look on paper at how fast guys are and how many passes they catch and how good you should be in free agents and drafts and all that. In this league, there's, it's very hard to predict the future, good and bad. No one thought we'd go to the Super Bowl. No one thought we'd win the last, we'd lose the last seven games. This NFL, if, if you're not careful, it could catch up on you quick. Did you right, see yeah. a point where you thought Cam's production dropped though because of the shoulder? I think as a team, I think our production dropped. I think there's a lot of factors that go into it. Every, I think every player that plays shares a role. I think the, you know, this isn't basketball. You know, we're not just going to roll the ball out to LeBron and let him go. You know, we, we have a lot of guys that, that got to do their job to, to have success or failure. And I think this year would be a great example. If you go down each loss, it was almost a different guy, a different position, a different side of the ball, a different phase of the game, a different situation that cost us those games.